Hi guys and welcome to the second video of Mugenjuku on the Move. I want to start this one by saying a big thank you to everyone who supported me with the first video and for all your nice comments that you left me. And also just to remind you that if you are interested in Paya Sensei's event in March, to just drop me an email with any questions that you may have. Okay, so first what I'd like to do in this video is explain a little bit about Aikido for those who know me but don't know anything about Aikido or would like an interest or begin an interest in it and a little bit about myself for those who haven't met me and have no idea who I am. So let's start off with, so what is Aikido? So Aikido is a Japanese martial art and it has three letters, so three Japanese letters in its name Aikido. So I is to harmonize or means harmony Ki is energy and Do is way, so the way of harmonizing energy. And what it does is it teaches us through posture, through movement, through balance, through timing, how to use an opponent's energy and force against them so that we can create throws and pins to defend ourselves. Okay, so the gentleman that you can see on the wall behind me, that is Ueshiba Morihei Sensei. He's the guy that created Aikido. His style of Aikido is still practiced today in Tokyo and in various countries around the world, but it's still taught today by his own family line uh, in Tokyo, which is really cool. Now, next to him on the wall, if I pan down, bear with me, I have a new toy and I haven't quite worked out how to use it. This is Gozo Shioda Sensei. So he was a student of Ueshiba Sensei's for about eight years and then decided to create his own style of Aikido, which he called, there I am, Yoshinkan Aikido. Yoshinkan means house of cultivating spirit, which was actually the name of his dad's judo dojo, but he took it on to use for his style name. So when you come into a Yoshinkan dojo, you will always find those two photos on the wall. Now my teacher, Jacques Payet, he was a student of Gozo Shioda Sensei, uh, a living student, so he lived in the dojo. So as you probably guessed by the name Jacques, he's not Japanese. He actually comes from an island called Reunion Island, which is just off of Madagascar. He moved to Japan when he was 22, studied with Shioda Sensei there, and then moved away from Japan and taught in various countries around the world, including America and the UK, before moving back to Japan, where he now teaches in his dojo in Kyoto. So, Ueshiba Sensei, Whoop. created Aikido, his student Gozo Shioda Sensei created Yoshinkan Aikido, he taught my teacher Jacques Paier Sensei and I now learn Yoshinkan Aikido from him. So now a little bit about where I came from. So behind me is hut 17, so this is actually a judo hut. Uh, but on a Friday night, Robert Banks uh, Sensei, who was my first teacher, he would rent it uh, from them and would teach Key Society Aikido, which again is a different style that stemmed from Morihei Ueshiba Sensei's Aikikai. Uh, so we can now literally just walk through this gap here behind me. I'm going to go for a walk. And you can see this hut here. Now this is the Jujitsu hut. Um, so when I was about 10, I think, we moved from that hut there into this hut, and we continued the same style of Aikido, same teacher. Um, and then when I was about 15, um, he was offered a job actually teaching Aikido down south. So sadly, I lost him as a teacher, uh, but he went on to much better things. And then I moved next door into this hut, which you can see behind me now. And I studied uh, Iaido with David Anzel Sensei and Kendo with his son Alex Sensei who you can see if I can get the camera around standing next to the car and whilst I was here studying Iaido and Kendo I also did Tamiki Aikido um, with uh, uh, one of our friends who did Iaido with us and then from there it was actually here I met Johns and then from Johns I moved back to Hayward's Heath so that brings my story back to this dojo. Uh, so I trained here for a little bit longer before moving out to Japan to do Paya Sensei's Kenchusei course. This is a, a one year instructor's course. I did this and then I did the second year. So I leveled up. So you become a Seiwanin, which is like a manager of the Kenchusei students. 
Uh, so pretty much I did the course again. And then for the following two years, I was teaching on the course. Uh, whilst I was also in Japan, I was able to do kendo, kenjitsu, sojitsu, which is the spear, uh, and also the tea ceremony, which was cool. I was able to study zazen in temples and really, really get a great uh, insight into the Japanese culture, which was a fantastic experience. Uh, from then, I moved back to the UK. After moving back for six months, I went back to Japan for six months as I missed it so much and decided to do a walk across Hokkaido, the north island of Japan, carrying just my kendo uh, bogu, my kendo armor. And I walked from north to south, stopping off at different dojos wherever I could find them and sleeping wherever I could, uh, which was a great experience before heading back to Kyoto to train some more with Pai Sensei. After I left Japan, I came back to the UK, and this year I've had a fantastic year following him around the world to various different countries, meeting his students from all over the world uh, and getting to train with them and also obviously learning more and more from my teacher. That leads me to now. So what I would like to do in the future is try to gain more of a connection between the people that I've met. It's an opportunity to get Pius Sensei's teachings more often to get refreshers from seminars and just ideas to use in your classes or for your own training and also just try to give you some helpful tips to beginners and maybe point out some stuff for seniors that maybe they just haven't thought of before. Uh, I would just like to finish this video uh, very quickly by just saying a huge thank you to a few people. Uh, I would like to say thank you to Edward and Mickey uh, for giving their advice to me um, last time I saw them on camera equipment and recording equipment and also they looked over some videos that I'd done and given me some pointers on what I need to do. So hopefully from that I can build up and make these videos better. I'd just like to thank my parents for giving me a very, very early Christmas present and helping me get the equipment I needed to be able to do these videos. And I'd like to thank you one other very special person who would prefer to stay, stay nameless, uh, but without their input, I wouldn't be able to record this stuff either. So I just wanna say a big thank you to you guys um, for helping me get this new blog up and running. And again, thank you to all you guys for watching and for your support. And if there's anything that you would like me to make a video on, please don't hesitate to email me and I will do my best to get those videos out as quick as possible. Okay, thanks guys, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Awesome. Okay, just uh, a little quick add-on to that video. I just want to say a big thank you to Dominic uh, for letting me use his dojo to do these videos in. It's a perfect setting. So I'm going to leave his email or the dojo website address, sorry, at the bottom of this screen. So if you want to come and train with us, you're always more than welcome. Awesome.